Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in social media marketing, we will discuss about blogging. Blogging plays a very important, crucial and critical role in dissemination of content, high quality content across multiple platforms. Though blogging is considered a separate part, but in social media marketing, blogging could be a key and important aspect so that you can actually drive home the point, the message that you want to convey and make sure that your content is spread across multiple platforms. Let us see what are those key factors that you need to take into consideration as far as blogging is concerned and we will also discuss how actually you can go about creating a blog. Now what is blogging in the first place? Blogging is similar to website content posted across blogs is called as blog post. Blogging is more or less the same as a website. You have the pages, you have the content, you have the tabs, you have the buttons, you have the navigation system. It looks more or less the same thing. But blogging posts are con considered and as called as blog posts. And that is actually the key difference between a website and a blog. A platform to share ideas and information. Blog is basically considered as a platform to share ideas, to share information, to actually provide the kind of information or beneficial solutions across to multiple users in the domain that you are an authority. So if you are an authority in a particular subject, whichever the subject it could be, you actually post high quality content to the users that the users could read and understand and benefit from them. And that is precisely the reason and the purpose and the objective of blog is all about. Blogs help build brands and thought leadership. If you are an authority in a particular subject, if you are a subject matter expert, whichever the subject it could be, it could be aviation, it could be cooking, it could be technology, it could be leadership, it could be poetry, it could be literature, it could be any particular subject. If you know that subject very well and if you can write effectively and send across the message to the user through your writings, create a blog and publish high quality articles so that you can actually build quality leadership and you can actually have a loyal readers for you and you can become a thought leader in that particular subject. And these are the key and important points that you can actually benefit from having a blog, writing a blog, driving high quality content, driving high quality users to your website or user to a particular blog and make sure that you know you build loyal readers to your blog and make sure that you drive high quality traffic to your blog and generate kind of revenue that you can be generating from having a blog. How to create a blog? There are multiple platforms that are available for us which are basically free platforms so that you can actually use those platforms and create a blog. There is blogger.com, there is wordpress.com, there is tumblr, there are a lot many blog platforms available for us and one of the most used and implemented across multiple users by across all users all over the world is called as a wordpress blog. Wordpress blog is used extensively across the world and it is widely popular. Now today I will show you how you can actually go about creating a blog on wordpress.com and post high quality content in that particular blog. So let us see how you can actually go about creating a blog on wordpress.com. Now let us create a wordpress blog for all of us. Let us see how you can actually go about creating a wordpress blog. You need to first go to wordpress.com. This is wordpress.com. This is actually the home page of wordpress.com. What you do is once you go to the wordpress.com, you see here get started here. Click on get started. When you click on get started, it will show you how, how you can actually create a new website. There are two ways to do it. One is of course you can start a blog. The second is start a website. Now let us say we start a blog. You click here on this. When you click here on this, it shows you WordPress gives you the options to choose a theme. Choose a theme. No need to overthink. You can always switch to a different theme. Let us say for example, you have chosen a particular theme. You can actually change change anything that you want to alien later on. What you can see, let us say for example, if I click here and actually go 
to a particular theme I have selected a theme now now let us give your site an address what you need to do here is you need to give a name to your blog let us say for example I give a name called uh, digital marketing 2018 for example I give this name as digital marketing 2018 now here you have the options you can change the name anything you do want it says some of the recommendation that you are giving some of the alternative they are giving digital business 2018 blog or this is what we have chosen you can choose a digital 2018 blog recommended you can choose anything that you want or you can go with what you have typed here digital marketing 2018 digital marketing 28 dot wordpress dot com this is free and you can actually select this one you select this one now you are actually right now you have selected your blog pick a plan that is right for you it says it is here you have zero here fee you don't need to charge they will not charge you anything and these are the free things that are available with you start with free wordpress subdomain jetpack essential features community these are the 3 gb of storage space this this comes for free now if you want to have some more features like personally you have 2.99 dollars you can actually there are lot many features available in this year you can choose this feature by paying this amount or go for premium 8.25 dollars lot many features this is premium account or if you want a business account this charges you this much and there are lot many features here you can choose any particular option that you want let us say I start with a start with free now I have selected this one now I need to log in let us say for example I log in with a particular email ID and I choose a username as this one then my password then I give my password here now it is done this is my username email ID this is my you choose the username is this one and I have given my password create my account it is creating an awesome give us one minute and we'll be right back we have sent a message please use this to confirm them and they have sent an email to the to email ID and they are they have to continue there now let us continue here the blog post is ready the blogging is ready here welcome your site is this might menu you can change your choose your change your theme anytime that you want that is all fine with me now here you have the name here you have all the plans here you have blog post all these themes available for you here now what you need to do is fine I'll close this one then this it provides you some of the information here it provides this information here now here actually you have create a blog this is your blog it is available here you want to go to about us if you want to give, go to about us you can provide a lot of information that you say for example I want to write something I want to write my first WordPress blog article I can write here let us say welcome to digital marketing 2018 done fine now I can type my blog post welcome to digital marketing 2018 I am going to write I am going to provide you a lot of information on my blog so that you can read my blog and benefit from it now let us say I have posted my blog post now done I am here I have done completely now what you can do is publish your blog fine to publish check your email and confirm your email ID fine I have to go back to my email ID to confirm the blog you will find the email from a WordPress here 
confirm your blog the confirmation is done then you have come back email it shows here email id is confirmed now this is actually done here you have the blog post here then publish your blog post that you have created just now it is published your blog first blog post is published and here it will appear like this you can go on creating as many blog posts as you want and keep on writing and sharing the quality information that you want to share and this is precisely how you can actually go about creating your blog and as soon as when you keep writing your blog post every time you write your blog post type the information here and keep on updating so that you know the blog posts are updated on your blog this is actually how you can go about creating a WordPress blog, at confirming your email, writing your blog post and publishing your blog post. And this is actually the easy way and the best way. You don't need to be a tech savvy person to create a WordPress blog and write high quality contents, drive traffic to your website and generate revenue from your blog. Now welcome back. We have seen just how you can actually create a WordPress blog in a matter of minutes. It is easy, it is simple. You don't need to be a technology geek, you don't need to be tech savvy to create a WordPress blog. It was as simple as that. You can create a blog, post high quality content, drive very good traffic to your blog and become a thought leader in a particular subject. And let us see some of the other things that you can do in terms of what you can do in creating a blog and using the blog. Blogging, some of the things that you need to do, select a niche. Select a niche, a particular niche that you are very good at it. A niche that you are an expert in that niche. The niche that you have very, very high quality knowledge in that particular niche. Select that niche. It could be anything, any subject that you can think. It could be mathematics, it could be physics, it could be chemistry, it could be literature, it could be poetry, it could be cooking, it could be technology or any programming language that you know very well. Select that particular niche and responsive theme and domain. See, there are two things here when we talk about creating a blog on WordPress. Either you can create a blog on WordPress itself. Let us say, for example, digitalmarketing2017.wordpress.com. That is basically what you are doing is you are creating a blog on WordPress. That is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, using WordPress as a platform, you can create a blog on your own domain name. It could be your name or any other name that you can think of if that particular domain name is available. I prefer actually having a blog on your name, not on WordPress.com. It is the, actually the right way and the best way actually doing it. Create a blog on particular domain take a domain buy a domain that you can think of is the right domain for you and use wordpress as a platform for that particular blog and that is that can be done by a good wordpress developer it should be a responsive theme when you actually create a blog the design that you can think of making it make sure that you know you actually don't build a design a wordpress design website design you from the scratch that is actually not the way to do it you there are lot many themes available designs available templates available for wordpress which are basically responsive themes responsive templates there are hundreds of thousands some are free some are paid go with a paid theme go with a theme that is actually of high quality and it is responsive it is available across multiple devices if you open it on a desktop or a laptop or a tablet or a smartphone make sure that the theme you select is responsive and you go with a domain of your own choice then ux and us quality the user experience and user expertise has to be very very high quality the user experience and the user interface these are two important points when actually designing a wordpress blog make sure that the user experience and the user interface are very high quality and they are very user friendly and with very good color combination and this is actually one of the key criteria in making the people making the users engage with your website it has to be of highest quality then original content and images all the content that you post on your blog has to be absolutely original. 
you can draw inspiration from some other blogs or the website but make sure that every piece of content you post on your blog has to be original this is extremely extremely important because at the end of the day the user is coming to your website the traffic is coming to your particular blog they are actually coming to read something find a solution to a particular problem and if you provide original content they'll stick to you forever and make sure that you provide high quality original content for the users never ever copy content it will not work for you and other important point is when you write content or when you write articles on your blog make sure that you use images judiciously images play a very very important role sometimes even infographics images within the content plays a very important role you must use images of high quality in the article or in the blog post that you are posting then build brand as you keep on posting blog posts on different topics on different subjects on high quality content you are actually driving enormous traffic to your blog and the readers are liking it because you are posting high quality content on your blog that is beneficial for the users when we talk about having a building a brand increasing the visibility of your blog across search engines there are two factors that normally people think of i want to rank high in the search engines that is actually the primary motive and objective it is not the first and foremost point or the objective of your blog should be providing high quality content yes you can do a bit of basic seo make sure that you do it make sure that there are a lot lot of plugins are available for you in wordpress blog you can use and implement those plugins you don't need to do any other seo as far as your blog visibility is concerned but the primary focus should be not search engines it should be your users are you providing beneficial content to the users on your blog that is helping the users or not that should be the fundamental point as long as you provide high quality content you will build brand for yourself the focus should be always on the users provide high quality content to the users and when you write articles or when you write blog posts make sure that they are above 1500 words per article per blog post sometimes even you go to 2000 words that is even better make sure that you write above 1500 words or 2000 words not 500 words or 800 words those days are gone 1500 words 2000 words or 2500 words blog post very very beneficial for you and those have to be embedded included with the images and provide high quality content that is original content and that is beneficial for your users you can build brand accordingly and these are the some of the things that you can do or need to do as far as blog posts are concerned some of the benefits of blogging share expertise the knowledge that you have got the experience that you have got the exposure that you have got the expertise that you have got you are sharing there and that actually helps you helps your users actually both benefits from that establish you as an authority you will be considered as an authority in the particular subject that you are talking about it will establish you as an expert then your brand identity you will be having a brand identity that this person has this blog writes high quality content and your brand identity is created build loyal users loyal users is extremely important to drive repeated users and this is actually one of the reasons why people stick to the blogs because they like it because they are benefiting from it then drive conversion the more the traffic the more the conversions and you can make a lots of money having a blog where you write high quality content and these are some of the benefits of your blog some of the strategies that you can think of implementing write a perfect bio include a link the bio that you write or the about us you write have to be have a good link here formulate business profile and image profile it is an extremely important you create your business profile and image profile use hashtags appropriately that is actually one of the important point when you actually writing a blog in the article use hashtag that is actually benefit when when you are linking to a particular con- curate targeted content the content has to be targeted towards the users 
all the content that you are writing has to be targeted content to the users not to the search engine engage and respond to the users the more you engage when you respond to the users the better because actually blogging is actually about interaction and communication when you write a blog post when you write an article people may comment on it and when people comment on it make sure that you actually respond to them which is actually engagement helps you a lot and these are some of the strategies that you can think of implementing on your blog in conclusion what we have seen in this video is what is blogging creating a wordpress blog you are blogging the right way and of course the blogging benefits thank you so much for watching hope to see you again